Hey! Oh, oh. You, got, you got the meat and potatoes there. <laughs> Please welcome Tig Notaro. Hi, welcome to Under a Rock with Tig Notaro. I'm Tig Notaro. I'm a comedian and I don't follow pop culture, so I haven't seen a lot of TV shows or movies and that makes it hard for me to recognize famous people. And on this show, I interview famous people to try and figure out who they are. So please welcome this person. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are uh, you? I, I'm great. So. You are for sure the tallest person we've had oh, on okay. Under a Rock. Okay. And uh, I said, bring me the tallest uh, person. And, and they, did they do a height thing when they had all the pictures in that? Yeah. They did? Running okay. past the 7-Eleven. Running 7 past the 7-Eleven. Yeah. <laughs> you would be awful in a police lineup. Where I'd be like, uh, could you say who the perp was? No. But uh, I, I'm, I might have gotten a glimpse of the perpetrator. I just didn't watch that person's show. Oh. <laughs> you know? I would love to do a fun fact. <laughs> the excitement is just, the excitement is just. Well, it's fun. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. that's the idea. Wow. OK, so you do like uh, comedy. You took improv classes at the Upright Citizens Brigade Theater. Yes, I did. What is something that you've learned in improv that even if you don't become a professional improviser, yes. what can you take with you? Uh, it kind of allows you to just lighten, lighten up a little bit, have a little bit more fun. It's like you're going to be a child lost in the, in the desert. It's like, okay, I guess that's what I'm doing this morning, right? And so, well, let's that's not, see a, that's that. not oh, oh, you wanna see it? Yeah, I wanna see it. <laughs> I wanna see a child lost in the desert. Oh, wow. Yeah, are, are you going to be in this in improv act with me? I'll, I'll, I'm just gonna jump in. I've never done improv other than life. <laughs> but, um, but I'll do what I can. Oh, gosh, we're gonna need makeup because I'm going to start sweating. <laughs> um, Okay. We typically ask. No, no. This is this. Is okay. I learned. All right. We ask the audience for a uh, for a one word suggestion. Desert. <laughs> <laughs> okay, desert. desert. How about a, a baby lost in in the desert? Okay, come on. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. This is this is this. We're probably gonna need more space. We're definitely gonna need more space. This is, this is nuts. <laughs> okay, okay, so right. oh my our one gosh, word suggestion is, is desert. And, and it's a baby lost in the desert. Oh my God, it's so hot. <sighs> oh, oh, little baby. Mommy. <laughs> You're still so tall. All right. Mommy. Yes, baby. Um, it's getting really hot out here. Why, th th <laughs> thank you for coming down to my level, mother. <laughs> But I'm, uh, you're such a big baby. Can't well, you see? Yes, I can. Yes. Let me take you home to our house and let's get out of the desert. Wait, that was on the plan. All, we could have done that this whole time? Yes. Why, why are you just now telling us? Well, because I'm trying to wrap up the scene. We're trying to wrap up the scene. <laughs> 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 uh, now, now you and I both have to write an apology letter to UCB Theater. Oh, this is this is this is going to just kill their enrollment. Now I could go. All right, you're six seven. Black. You're gigantic. You're black. Yeah. I didn't even notice. But I could be like, okay, this guy's really tall. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're an athlete. Mm -hmm. I just. Am I supposed to give an answer? <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. You are an athlete. Yes. This completely makes sense. Okay. Is it possibly basketball? Um, yes, there is a possibility. High, high <laughs> possibility that's basketball. Would you like another clue? I would love another clue. Okay, good. There, there's some, there's some things over there that might help you. Oh. All right. Let's see. Can you, can you make a shot? Oh wow. Hey! Oh. Got the meat and potatoes there. <laughs> Here you go. This is from me to you. I'll open this when I get home tonight. Okay, perfect. <laughs> you went out. And got uh, you know, it's just for having me here. 
Oh. oh, look at that. This is incredible. Yes. <laughs> I think I... Is this for you or me? I, I, I think it's for you, because it has your name on it. Yeah. Um, this yeah. is so nice. Thank you. Well, I just, I, I assume that after this, you'll probably want to take up basketball, similar to me wanting to do uh, stand-up. <laughs> All right, here we go. Would you like another clue? Uh, yeah, I want another okay, clue. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, now, for my final clue, I wanted to give you my take on Mount Rushmore to help you guess my first name. And one of the original faces on Mount Rushmore shares my last name. <laughs> Wait, what am I looking at? This is the Mount Richard Rushmore. Richard Simmons? Is that Richard Simmons? <laughs> oh, these are all Richards. Yes. <laughs> yes. There's little Richard, yes. Richard Nixon. Okay, you're, right. you're getting it. Yeah. You're yeah. getting it. I'm going to take this home with me, by the way. I don't know what's your prop budget, but this is going to come with we me. We use this prop for every episode. <laughs> <laughs> we make it work. Do you? OK. Uh, and then one of the original ones um, on Mount Rushmore also uh, carries my last name. Alexa, who is on Mount Rushmore? Mount Rushmore is a massive sculpture carved in the Black Hills region of South Dakota, and the granite faces depict US presidents George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt and Abraham Lincoln. Jefferson? Yes. There you go. <laughs> Richard Jefferson. Very nice to meet Richard you. Richard Jefferson. Yes. Very right nice here in the flesh. Yeah, yes, yes. Very, I'm very gonna nice go and... ahead and still reveal who you are. Okay, you reveal <laughs> you reveal. Let's Even see. after I guessed it. Yes. You did a really good job, by the way. That's the, the big reveal. You did an excellent job. Oh, thank you. Do you remember you. like a half hour ago when you, you, we were both on our knees improv -ing? Yeah. My guest today launched his basketball career with the Arizona Wildcats. Bear down. Reaching the championship game of the NCAA tournament. Yes. In 2001, he was a first round pick in the NBA draft, signing with the New Jersey Nets. And in 2016, he won the NBA championship with the Cleveland Cavaliers. Alexa, what are Richard Jefferson's lifetime stats? Do they have Richard that? Jefferson averaged 12.6 points, four rebounds, and two assists per game in his career while winning one championship. Did that answer your question? It did. Right, it did. <laughs> gosh, that's, gosh, I was a little nervous. He continued his career as a game and studio analyst for ESPN. Yes. So you're a TV star. Uh, I wouldn't say star. Come on. You can say it. In 2008, the University of Arizona named the Richard Jefferson Gymnasium in his honor. Yes. That's really cool. That's really, really cool. I would love to have a gymnasium named after me. Really? I mean, especially for the confusion it would cause. <laughs> <laughs> that's why, that's why it's like the confusion is definitely high up there. Alexa, sports lighting. Okay. <laughs> that's more of like disco lighting, right? That's, is that sports lighting? Well, you know what? Tell me. It turns out my guest today was Richard Jefferson, who we already uncovered. Yes, you figured it out. Richard Jefferson yes. from the Richard Jefferson Gymnasium. Gymnasium. Yes. Thank you so much my for coming. My pleasure. This was, this was, uh, no, that, that's. <laughs> that threw you off? No, no, it was perfectly normal. <laughs>